Hello everybody, uh, I'm back today with Miles Taylor at uh, Television uh, for another uh, collab video. Uh, it's our first ever joint Q&A. Um, we just thought it might be a fun thing to do. So yeah, we've said we'd do on for a while. So A little thing on Twitter, yeah. YouTube community tab, everywhere, uh, asking you a lot for questions and hopefully some of you uh, responded and we're going to try and get through as many of those as possible in this video, time allowing. So, uh, first off the bat, uh, you in the Shadow Master asks, do either of you enjoy doing impressions of the Doctor? If so, which ones okay. do you like doing? Richard, do you do any impressions of the Doctor? Not really, no. No? Um, you do, yeah. don't you? Well, well, I mean... Little snippets. Little snippets. I think Matt Smith's Matt the one Smith. I've, I've been known to do yes. more. So, you know, you know, fish fingers and custard and all that sort of jazz. Yes. All the hop hopping yes. around the place. And there was something I did recently... What was it? Um, what was the line I was doing? Oh yeah, it's the whole bacon thing. It's like... Scottish fry something, bacon, bad, bad bacon. Oh, it's beans, isn't it? Beans, bad. I think bad have bacon. I got. Yeah, oh, beans are evil. Beans are evil. Stick bad, with that bad on my beans. bed. Um, um, ten years ah, ago. Bread and butter. Yes. Yes. And okay. stay out. So, yeah. Uh, Matt Smith, basically. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, I don't really do any any other ones. I tried to do. Michael Stun one apparently sounds like Peter Capaldi. So. Oh, my, was it my Peter Capaldi sounds like Michael Stun? So. I really don't like doing pretty <laughs> off the impressions. Right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yes. So do you want to have one from the YouTube community yes, tab? Yes, this is from my YouTube community tab. So just the first thing up here, we have Nathan Smurthwaite. Sorry if I've butchered that. Uh, which Doctor do you think had the most successful run, including TV episodes, books, Big Finish? Interesting. That's um, very interesting, actually. Um, very broad, yeah. Personally, strongest run? Oh, that's very hard. Um, I guess... I'd go for Tennant because he's my favourite Doctor, but strongest run, like concentrated, um, maybe Pertwee. Pertwee often has more good stories than bad. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. Uh, uh, I, I, for similar reasons, I'd probably go to Capaldi instinctively, but then now you say that, yeah, like... I'm trying to think of a, do of a Doctor which I mean, watch a lot of them. Christopher Eccleston, just because it's... Yes, no, there we go. Series, yeah. Because, yes, you're right, Series yeah. 1 is perfect. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go for Christopher Eccleston. Then. Christopher right. Eccleston. Uh, which classic? Oh, this is from the Irish Nerd. Which classic Who set Brendan. that hasn't been announced? If Brendan. Oh my God, <laughs> uh, the timeless child. Uh, what classic Who set that hasn't been announced do you want the most? Now I'm assuming he means in the, uh, the, the collection, collection box. Right? Yes. Um, now I would have said season 14, but we're getting that. Okay, That's my favourite classic yeah. series, and we're getting it on Blu-ray. Um, so I would say season seven probably. Got a spearhead there, Season you've got Ambassadors good. of yes. Death, you've got the Silurians, Inferno, uh -huh. not a bad story in the bunch. Maybe like season 25, just to have remembrance. Yep. Uh, and then again, sure they're so right. short, like, well both of those are quite short, they've got four episodes each, so mm. for something more substantial. I would love to see a 60s one though. Yes, Let's see a 60s too. one. Me season too. one. Let's see season yeah. one. Just, uh, that would be nice. You know, either animate or... I guess, I guess they'll do that in the 60th year, do you think? Probably, maybe. Maybe, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they held back. back. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, who knows about Marco Polo and whatever, so. Yeah. Isaac Whitaker Dakin, hello Isaac. Um, favourite and least favourite classic Who season? Okay. Um, I think I know mine. Oh gosh. I I'll think go with yours then. Season 14, as I've said, my favourite. Yeah. Um, you know, Talons, Robots of Death, Face of Evil, um, Hand of Fear and Deadly Assassin, Mask of Androider. Great stuff. Um, Least favourite, I'd probably go for season 24, you know. Yeah. But then again, I, I like Delta and the Bannerman, and I mm. like bits of Paradise Towers. Mm. And, I don't know. I think the favourite for me, maybe maybe season 13 or 25. But right. It's a difficult question, so I don't, I'm not giving much thought. Or even season 7 is, is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, something, or, yeah, something pertinent, maybe season 8, I don't know, I need to rewatch them a bit. Um, I don't, don't know about least. Favorite, really? Um, yeah, it's hard, isn't it? I mean, people would jump to season twenty-four, but it's an easy know. choice. Yeah, I don't. It's the black sheep. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to answer that. So, yeah, yeah. Stay yeah. positive. Yeah, let's stay positive. <laughs> let's say thanks, Isaac, for making us negative. <laughs> yeah. Which is better, season eleven or season twelve? So, I'm guessing he doesn't mean Pertwee and Baker. <laughs> I mean, we could do that too. Um, but oh yeah, that's a fair. Point. Out of those two, yeah, I'd probably go for season twelve because. Is, you know, Genesis of the Daleks automatically makes it the best season ever. Uh, yeah, um, I'd have to agree there, I think. I'm assuming he's talking about so series. The new ones, Jodie Whisker. So, you just say season 12. Oh, so, yeah, series 12, series 12 for me, yeah, yeah for sure. It's definitely. I, I guess, but there's stuff I like about series 11 as well, and, and series 12 is very fresh, so I, I feel like 
Do you, you want to step back? Yeah, I feel like I need to step back totally, a little yeah. bit. But, um, Base there's reaction. There's stuff to enjoy in both of them, I yeah. think. It's very different sort of stuff. Yeah. How's life and what are your dream jobs? Life's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. I agree. Um, well, my dream at the minute is, I mean, big aspiration is director for me. Um, I'm doing sort of runner stuff at the minute in the area that I want to kind of go into and sort of building up from there really and hopefully aiming for director or editor those are the two two big ones but I know it's going to take a long time to get there so. for me similar but as a writer for TV but yeah I was going to say I was writing for maybe um, I guess as well would you ever want to like if the option was there would you want to do Doctor Who fair point because uh, is it like the magic <laughs> behind the scenes that would it ruin it for you I didn't well I don't know, I, for me the bigger concern would be like, fans would just hate it. Yeah. <laughs> like you'd put your work in But let's be honest, it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if people like us who've been doing all these videos over the years would well, become certain, the showrunners because, I mean, Chibnall was on points of view having a go at Trial True. of a Time Lord, so yeah. who knows? Who knows? And I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the generation that you know, starts making all their videos. Hopefully. Who knows? Yeah, uh, you know, when I become showrunner, it would just be, you know. I'll go mad. I'll just uh, <laughs> make everything canon in the universe. Yeah. Well, Chris has already done that, oh, so there we go. If you were ever to be in charge of Doctor Who, linked to what we were just talking about, ah. who would you cast as your Doctor and companion? That's from LC Productions at Lewis365 and a load of number numbers. <laughs> so, um, Doctor wise, uh, I've thought. Well, I would have loved Shasha Dwan to be the Doctor, but um, he's the master now, obviously. Um, two Doctors I would have liked would be Dev Patel, who's recently starred in David Copperfield, the oh, new right, film, him. That. He's the lead Sorry. in that. He's, and he's, oh, okay. He was in uh, right. Slumdog Millionaire as the main character in that. I think I'd quite like to see an old uh, like female doctor. Well, like, I, I always think like when I'm at university, like there are bits and pieces that I would probably take from all my like university lectures and just put them together into like a... Yeah cool, older female doctor, maybe. Yeah. Perhaps. And I, get what you but mean. I guess they're probably going to do that in the show sometime soon. Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, cool. um, have you seen the pictures of Gillian Anderson? As you know, the, her sort of quiff of grey hair. I don't think so. Um, and right. she's in like a Peace Capaldi-esque sort of okay. costume. They might, yeah. They're on going on Twitter at some point. Right. And she just looks yeah. like the doctor. Uh, my yeah. choice would be Ruth Wilson, who has been in oh, yeah. his uh, Dark Materials recently. And, and Luther, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds offensive, but she's got this alien-esque sort of face that could be like, yeah, you could be a Time Lord. Yeah. A distinctive face, that's what I'm saying. That reminds me, we were recently watching an episode of Silent Witness with my parents, and my mum said that Gemma Gre uh, Redgrave would make a good doctor. Like she, she, yeah. She was dressed in this kind of... She was like a, a detective in that show. But yeah, she, she looked the part. It's okay. a shame she's Kate Stewart, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> she would, yeah, someone, uh, someone like that would be good, I think. Yeah. Older female. If it was a woman, I would like, instead of a team, I would like one male companion, I think. I think it would be nice to have the two. It would be an interesting thing to do, certainly, yeah. as a next uh, thing, wouldn't it? Yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, male companion. I can't quite think in my head who I would like. Um, Dev Patel, like I said, for the Doctor, but if he was younger, I'd be a good companion. Um, but yeah. Who knows? It's, that's a tricky one. Companion's weirdly hard of the Doctor for me. Mm. Because you could do anything with them. What are your favourite Doctor Who DVD covers and who has the biggest collection? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh we're doing that, are we? <laughs> right. Um, well. We mentioned this in the previous video, didn't we? About I a mean, year ago. Yeah, collection wise, let's DVDs? let's concede oh, yeah. it. Okay. It's you, obviously. You think, yeah. You've got a whole room dedicated <laughs> to it, Richard. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you've got the bigger collection for sure. So favorite DVD covers. We did talk. We did a whole video on this, yeah. didn't we? I so, think I said it was Inferno, the special edition. Yes, those special editions are very nice. Um, what's yours? Just be boring and go with the collection ones and the. Well, I was going to say books, collection wise, which is your favourite of these? Because I, I know which my favourite okay. is. I, I think mine's se mine season eighteen. Tom just looks so distinctive on yeah, that, doesn't he? I do like that hand. Like yeah. Like someone did a gift. Or something, someone did it? a gift, didn't they, of all the covers, and it looks like he's slowly raising his hand. If you put them in the right order, it's like Peter Davison's got like one hand up with the badge, and then it's Tom Baker. Yeah. I'm going to knock everything down, Richard. I'm so sorry. There we go. Um, but yeah, that's probably my favourite of them. But yeah, DVD cover wise, Inferno Special Edition has long been mine. I've just forgotten them all because I haven't watched them in so long because the Blu-ray's yeah, yeah. coming out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your favourite non-Who franchise? Mm, 
Okay. Yeah. Um, interesting. Franchise is a big word, so it's it not so much se just series. It's like a thing. I'm, I'm not. I don't think I have one really. I think, but in terms of other series and stuff. Yeah, it's other series. Yeah. Like Broadchurch. It's not. Okay, it's not a franchise or like multiverse <laughs> action figures <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. Um, but I feel that's kind of. Influenced me quite a bit, so probably that. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. A crime series and. Yeah. Or just like that genre in general. That genre, genre yeah. yeah. I suppose. I mean, I love my Marvel stuff um, a lot. Uh, not to the extent of Doctor Who or anything. Uh, similar for Star Wars as well. I, I like Star Wars, but not to the extent that I'll buy any merchandise or anything like that. Doctor Who is definitely the biggest, it's at the forefront. But yeah, franchise wise, I'm not sure. I guess Star Wars, I have a bit more investment in than Marvel, I don't know. But yeah, one of those two for me. Will you make Doctor Who fan films? <laughs> Will we make Doctor Who fan <laughs> films? That's a good well, question. Well, I, I have. Uh, yes, in the yeah, past, I, mean, I have, yes. yeah. Um, they will never see the light of day, but yes, I have. It doesn't appeal to me massively, but, but maybe. Yeah. If, if the time was right, if the story was right. I guess, I, I mean, I've done the audio adventures, so I suppose they're yes. sort of that's like half fan way, films yeah. in a way. Thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and that's kind of... The audios are my kind of blueprint for how I would do Doctor Who in a lot of ways mm -hmm. and the structure of a series and having a companion from the future or you know just just doing that kind of stuff but yeah sure um I don't think so no, no. and there's people who do it far better than, yeah. than we could hope to at the minute so uh, so, um, so yeah well this is the closest you're getting just there yeah, here's, here's the fan film this is the fan film oh shit <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Very dusty, Richard. You need to oh, dust your collection. <laughs> um, Okie dokie. What planned but never made episode of Sarah Jane would you have wanted to see the most? Oh gosh. Um, I mean, I suppose the the obvious answer is the big finale with the, was the it trickster. Battle, Battle of Bannerman Road, was it yeah. called? Battle of Ramscroft. Of Battle of Ramscroft. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see that. It was Moose at one point I'm going to do on with spiders, like Planet of the Spiders. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sequel. It must have been this three. Yeah, yeah. That would have been... Yeah, oh, I imagine Liz Sladen doing like her so cool, it? Great One acting or something like Oh yeah, they've been cracking it. That's the one I would love to see. Yeah, Mess with his three spiders, yeah. What is one story that you love that the other person doesn't? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I <clears throat> thought of this and I can't remember which story it was now. Oh yes, Ghostlight. You don't like Ghostlight, do you? Mm, oh, you didn't? Mm, not Yeah. I rewatched it recently for the season yeah, 26 yeah. and the Blu-ray and I was a bit more won over. To be honest, I... Okay, I haven't your opinion, but I think, with the exception maybe of Battlefield, which I quite like, oh my God. I find, like, the season 26 stories are a bit, I don't know, a bit weird. Well, no, actually, I agree with you on Curse of Fenric. Curse of Fenric is one of the most overrated stories in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, because I, oh, I, I was watching, okay, it's going to sound like sacrilege, but I was watching Survival the other day, second time I ever watched it, and I was just thinking, there's some cool stuff here, but it doesn't really hang together. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs> um, yeah. No, but fair enough. So fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm going to take that. But yeah, Ghost Light is one that I remember. Sure. You, I remember distinctly you saying that you really didn't like I it. I just didn't get on with it on first yeah. view. Which I think. Yeah. But I, whereas I, I loved it. On oh, first viewing. Did you on love first it viewing, yeah, yeah, I loved it. Yeah, it's really bizarre. Maybe because I had a bit of an inkling on what it was about before I went into it. But, yeah. Um, I love the fact that it's just so bonkers. And it all gels together and weaves in, and it's such a clever construction. So, uh -huh. yeah, I love Ghost Light. That's probably my one that you're not you're not so fond of. Uh, so, sorry, the other way around goes. I mean, you might go for Capaldi story like, or something. Hell, that would be the obvious answer. Yeah. But then even like, even watching the Timeless Children and how Gallifrey was done in that kind of made me sort of reconsider my love of Hellbent a little bit. Well, so, Hellbent is so incidental. Like that could have been set anywhere. Really? Yeah. Like. I don't yeah, know, maybe I'm being overdone. I, I like the Clara and Doctor stuff, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, oh, I, I don't know. I feel maybe now I can see that they should have made a bit more of the gallery kind of stuff. Yeah, having seen it done better <laughs> in series twelve. I can see it over there. It's on a poster, Doctor yeah, Who magazine it's poster. It's staring at me. Uh, would you like to see New Who and the spin-offs released as part of the collection Blu-rays? Oh yes. Yeah, yeah definitely. I would love to see but some think, like candid features if yeah, possible, yeah. and also like just the 
I want to see all these deleted scenes and and the, and the yes. extended cuts, cuts, the director's the director's Absolutely. cuts of yeah. like we've got like the work print of Ghostlight and yeah. the special editions. Can we have that for a new series story? Because be so even awesome. the CGI for some of the series one and series two episodes is dated a little bit. I mean, neaten it up and yeah. add in scenes that weren't there because there's even on the the box sets the. The scenes that they've taken out, it's not all of them because you read no, about no. all these other scenes. And like certain them. box yeah. sets released so far that even have any deleted scenes, I don't think. No, the last one I can think of is Series 10, but were they even series on the box set? Has, uh, I think they were, yeah. They're online, certainly. but um, And they're really badly put together. They put in like stock music yeah. and, and it's just like... Uh, I just want uh, like a like the sets in general. Yeah. They're so half assed with like all the special features. I say all the special features. Like well, yeah, look at over an hour of special features. Fifty quid for oh, a series oh. twelve steelbook, which is that essentially is gorgeous, exactly the same. It looks amazing, but mm, yeah. Uh, so I can't get anyway but I would stuff. love to see. I would love to see the collection. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just the thought of like someone like Chris Rackleston doing a candid interview with Matthew Sweet. Get Matthew happen, Sweet to do it. So get Matthew Sweet cool. to do an interview with him. Oh, brilliant. Not over. But yeah, get do one of those like you know. Yeah. Or a weekend with Billy Piper. <laughs> get, get. Uh, what's his face? Toby. Oh, Toby. Gosh. What's his name? Oh, Toby Hader. Yeah, get Toby Hader. Toby Spend Hader. a weekend with three yes. regiment or something. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but yeah, I, I would love to see. Um, oh, I would love to see um, <laughs> one of you know them. And and spin-offs. I don't know if I'm so bothered about them. Certainly, priority-wise, yeah. is the new the series, the new series. I mean, like Torchwood is now an eye player, isn't it? So. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, there's not really more you can do for that, yeah. really, is there? If you could kill one character in Doctor Who, who would it be? What Such a negative question. Yeah, it's a really negative. <laughs> I, I sort of sunk in. I was like, oh god, that's really dark. Yeah. In the whole history of the program, I think so. Adam. That's a good shout. <laughs> He's not a nice guy. Uh, or, oh, just someone like really Hitler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> someone who's appeared in this show, Hitler. There uh, you go. God, this went dark. Cheers. Ah, uh, no, I can't think. Of it's a horrible question. It's a horrible question. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. <laughs> uh, favorite Doctor Who figures? Ooh, uh, but I'll take this as what we've got because I I would love like a K1 robot, but I haven't got it. So okay. Um, my favorite figure that I ever had was probably Mutant Reveal Dalek. Yeah. I love that. That is such a great idea. Uh. And you're sort of getting a callback to it now with the recon dialogue coming out. Yes, I love that. Nice. Squid. Nice, it? Yeah. I think for me, probably, probably just like some of the sound effect classics Dalek, uh, classic yeah. Daleks, because the classic Daleks are nice in their own right, but then when they've got the sound effect it stuff feels like inside really them, getting them, they're really them, like yeah. nice and weighty, aren't they? So yeah, yeah. That's about the best. Like a Chase Guard best Dalek thing. or something. Yeah, or even just like a Dead Planet one, that's like nice, mm. clean. Pristine. Pristine, lovely. Yeah, yeah very nice. It'd be one of the Daleks, really, wouldn't one it? One of the Daleks, yeah. Let's guess, be honest, so. the Daleks the look the coolest. Yeah, look coolest, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Uh, how long have you and Miles been friends? So, uh... uh, uh <laughs> when did you come to uh, my school? 2014. 2014? So, gosh, it's kind of six years, is it? Five, so, five, six we, years. we were at school together when Series 9 was on. Yeah. I don't remember talking to you about um, Series 9. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Series... Well, it's controversial, so... Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised. Surprised. Like, stay away. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're probably a around since then. We started doing uh, our school media group in 2016. I was, I think that was when Series 9 was, that was when Series 9 was on, I think. No. I think it was. No. Because... I'm looking at your Peter Capaldi poster, yeah. trying to work out date-wise. Yeah, actually you're right, maybe, yes, 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 because... Um, do you remember there was a production of Guys and Dolls? Yes. Uh, I let you, because, is it Heaven Sent on that night, or Hell Bent? <laughs> yeah, it was And I was Sent, like, I right Richard, I'll do the lighting that night, you go and watch Doctor Who yeah. Live, I'll watch it tomorrow morning. <laughs> yes, because, and then we had our singing and speaking uh, performance on oh, the night girl that The Girl died, Who Died yes. was on. So I remember watching that the next day, of course. I Face the Ravens. No, I can't believe it, I just, oh. you were like, oh yeah, we were... Friends, in, when Series 9 was on, I was like, I can't remember any of that. Oh my god, literally I can pinpoint every single one. Yeah. Yes, no, I can now, yeah. Oh. God. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. Hell Bent, I must have, I don't know if I watched Hell Bent live, actually. I did, because we had, we meant to have a house dinner, but we, I couldn't get because of, like, flooding and stuff, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, actually, there's been a power cut during the day. Oh, so I, I, I am terrified. even yeah, going yeah. to get to watch Doctor Who now that I've stayed here, but... 
Um, Thankfully. Yeah, so we were, yeah, around then. And then uh, I remember watching Class when it came out. Uh, yes. Do you remember bobbing down to our Mac on. computer in the media room yes. to uh, watch that always episodes felt like one so, two? Uh, kind of naughty. <laughs> yeah, did, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even the content as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. But yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, it's been more class content then. coming up later. Probably a five. Oh god, oh, <laughs> god help us. Uh, but yeah, probably sort of five, five years. years then. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have our anniversary special soon. This is our anniversary yeah. special. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> what are your highlights of the Hartnell era for you? Uh, that's from quarter to twelve. I need to watch more of it. I, I look at it sometimes. And I think I've got like less than is that less than ten? I've got yeah, same like, actually. Criminally like I need to watch tiny more amount of it. Yeah, the War Machine's good. The one I want to watch the most is The Chase. I can't wait to watch The Chase. Okay, but I'm yeah. kind of waiting until they do the collection box set of that series. Oh, I so. don't know. Yeah. Which I think they might do. That's the first Doctor series with the most stories complete. Season I think two. season two. Yeah, yeah. I don't is. know what my favourite Hartnell story is. Uh, but looking back at those, now, I quite like that period at the end where it goes a bit more modern, like the art, the gunfighters, the war machines, all those sort of things. Yeah, they're quite nice. They're quite nice little stories. But I don't have a lot of the oh, earlier stuff. Know. Stark Invasion of Earth yeah. maybe is my highlight, I guess, because I, I, I watched that one when I was. How old would I have been? Seven or eight when my cousin was showing me. I think we talking more generally like the whole kind of, in terms of vibes, like. Oh yeah. Just like, I don't know, the whole spirit of adventure sort of thing. That's a nice um, line, yeah. Which kind of come, comes Mention. through in, in more recent stuff. The first cliffhanger ever is a very good moment. Uh, yes. You know, that sort of eerie takeoff sequence, you know, sort of panning out from London. Um, so yeah, one of those. Yeah. Anyways, I guess. Um, if you could only keep one item in your Doctor Who collection and everything else oh. had to perish, what would you keep? As someone commented on that, that, that is just evil. So uh, <laughs> it is just evil. Yeah. I oh collection box sets. No, that's two. Because I could sell them. <laughs> uh, oh no, maybe not then. Oh. oh, I'm trying to think of a really sentimental item. I mean, I've got my scarf that my gran knitted for me. Yeah. Season 18 scarf. I cool. love that. Um. Oh, I don't know. That is really I can't evil. just want to say like autographs or something, but that's, that's really boring. No, um, it's not boring if you've got a good memory attached to it. I suppose yeah. not, but like an object. I'm trying to, I don't yeah, know, like an actual physical thing. I, I'm Maybe my Kayser and Jazani oh, Tardis, because yeah. I've wanted a Peter Davison box since I was about 10 Yeah. As, a, as an action figure. So I love that. Maybe that. I love my little box. Yeah, I can't. Oh, I don't know, really. Just looking around. Oh, I don't like, know. Like, like, Oh, that's a horrible thought. It is a terrifying <laughs> thought. Pick one, yeah. Richard. I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna drop a match. Uh, you have gotta grab something. Uh, yeah. Like, great. You can grab three things. Let's go with a tiny little ring. There we go. Right. Stab that. There we go. This whole collection, and that's what yeah, you're gonna that's pick. That's the one. Great. Okay. Which Doctor Who spin-off would you give another season to? That's from Robbie. Oh, I sort of want to say class, just to see what they do with it. I know it's probably like very controversial. Well, we'll, we'll wait until we talk about that. We'll, we'll, we'll see what class. we think when we've, when we've I mean, gone I'm through sure it. If Liz Sladen was still around, then Astra, I guess. Yeah. Although having said that, they'd already done like five seasons, and I wonder. I think it was going to be coming to a it. close. Mm. I mean, and because it's of that Davies era, isn't it? So yes, it did kind of so feel odd how it was still it was on in the past. It sort of sold yeah, that, yeah. wasn't it? And then. Torchwood, Torchwood don't, I think we don't. both kind of agree that it's yeah. how it's there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and even even on Big Finish, it's kind of like okay, there was yeah. there's some good stuff in there, but I think the fact that they're bringing back old monsters to fight them, yeah. the fact that they're, so they have to like bring Doctor Box sets, yeah, like they have to bring back a, <laughs> they have to bring back like an element. Oh, oh, oh Andy oh. Davidson, um, whatever his name is, PC Andy. I think it's shown Torchwood has had its day. Let's just keep what we've got because what we've got is means, very much very yeah. close to gold. If I you love Torchwood. Like the stuff they do, then yeah, fine. I've not seen Miracle Day yet, so I can't wait oh to watch gosh, that when I yeah, get to it. Like, like binging. Yeah. So I've just finished series one. I'm on series two now. Of course, because so. you can see it on iPlayer. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ah, so uh, really I'll be watching that. Yeah. Um, not got high hopes, but who knows? So yeah, none of them for me. <laughs> K9, K9, the K9 Australian company. series. Oh, that one. K9. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thoughts on Sagan Akinola's soundtracks? Uh, yeah. Do you refer to Murray Gold and favourite Akinola music? So that's from Rupert Shirley. Okay. Call me Shirley. Um, see, right now I think I, I probably would say I do prefer it just because right, I'm okay. more like, immersed yeah. at the moment. I, I will always love Murray, Murray Gold, Gold because yeah. I've got. I've, literally, I've, recently I've been listening. I've got a playlist on my Spotify. Um, uh, now renamed River Songs. 
because how good a name okay. is that for a list of Doctor Who? So thanks, Izzy, for mentioning that as a good name for him. I've got all my Murray Gold tracks there, and I'm just like, there's so many moments of, from those. I just, he will ultimately be my favourite of the two. Yeah. But uh, you prefer Sagan? I now. think so, yeah, at the moment. Yeah, yeah just because, yeah. Yeah. Right. And what about favourite track from him? Favourite track from him. From me, okay. it'd probably be, um, be boring to say 13's theme, but that's probably the only one I can think of. Either that or the Rosa Parks, you know. Maybe in terms of Yeah, that's the score for Rosa's good. I think even the score for like, um, even if you don't like the episode, the Battle of Ramscar of Kalos score, I like quite like that. It's like quite pumping, kind of, I don't know, just. Yeah. Cool. I thought the, the, the uh, resolution one was Resolution good. was good. The dark yeah. sort of. Um, I quite like this. I've listened to the Spyfall ones quite a lot as well on YouTube, not on the official album yet. Yeah, actually, that's um, a fair point. Um, if we're thinking of unreleased tracks, um, unreleased, probably yeah. the Fugitive of Jadoon. You know, yeah, the roof. Particularly the roof, roof reveal. reveal. And then yes. also, something we didn't talk about actually in the Series 12 video we did, the Cyberman theme that he's oh, got. Of course, yeah. It's I just think. so the. It's boom, 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 the metal. Yeah, it's stuff. the. Great, and like, how, so good. How has nobody done that before? Yeah, even rivals Murray yeah. Gold's. In fact, duh, duh, yeah, duh, duh, duh. there's that moment at the end of the Ascension of Cybermen cliffhanger when like there's that theme and there's like a theme for the human survivors as well. Like, yes. 13th Doctor's theme, and it also like comes together and it's like. And the way he yes, plays with so 13's theme is very, very good. Yeah. Yes. Do you have any goals or plans for your respective channels in 2020 that you'd like to share with us? Well, now series 12 is finished. I might go back and like review each episode. I like, do an in depth review yeah. maybe for them. I didn't do that this time just because I think when you're like in the midst of the series and it's like it's being broadcast it's like you have to kind of distance yourself from a bit after sure. and just kind of think wait a minute what did I think of this like, I'm not just going to like yeah. praise everything when it comes out just because it's new and novelty um, so I might do a bit of that more collabs I suppose yep. coming I'm definitely um, we'll definitely do those collabs yeah and just sort of tidying over until the, the special, really. Oh, another room tour. Now I've got a new camera, I need to do another room tour. Oh, well. yeah. So have you got yeah. new stuff since? Yeah, I haven't done one since... It's been about two years. Since I, I helped you put the figures up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, similar, I mean, obviously collabs, and I've got a third series of audio adventures that will be produced once I've finished uni for the year, because I just uh, there's no way I can produce them uh, while I'm doing uni stuff. So come summer, I'll probably start producing them. Um, and short films. I think we were thinking of trying to do another short film oh, after Bye yeah. Bye Benji. Maybe. Um, so maybe some of that. Uh, yeah. But ultimately, who knows? What is your best worst episode and a bad episode you find good? So one we know is bad, okay. but we All just right. love it. Um, uh, I think mine do you have one? Delta one? and the Bannerman. Okay. Uh, I yeah. unapologetically love that because it's just silly. Silly, silly. I guess maybe sort of in that vein, Battlefield, like I was saying earlier, how yeah. that's yeah. one that isn't held in too high regard, but I, I enjoy that. Yeah, I can see it's flaws, but I, yeah. I enjoy that. Or what about new series stories that we know is not favourably looked upon in the fan community? See, maybe for me then, like, the Battle of Ranscar of Colossus, because, like, I sort of enjoy, like, maybe just more for the music than anything else, like okay. watching that or, like, just the vibe. But then there are some, like, Pretty rubbish lines in that. And like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's quite fun. Well, that's part of the charm of Doctor Who, I suppose. Ultimately. Yeah, it's, so yeah, it's, it's, that's, that's it's crap. But fun. Love it. From William Michael, he says, Go "What on. surprise reveal in New Who would you consider the best or best revive, reveal oh, right, into yeah. a series finale?" I would say, I mean, recently, Captain Jack's reveal was the one that shocked me the most. Yeah, for me, the master yeah. thing. Oh, shocked me the most. Um, um, but in terms of finale ones. ones. I mean, if John Sim wasn't revealed, that would have been how amazing would that have been? Uh, I would have lost my my nut in the previous series. Cause I think I a lot of stuff got revealed really before. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, even like, with River Song, I guessed that there was something going on with like, oh, there's this little child, like the child yeah. that Amy's had. He goes, this yeah, mysterious yeah. woman. I wonder if they're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Maybe John Hurt, name of the Doctor. That was a pretty. I think I'd. I think I knew that. Like, I, didn't, I don't think I knew, no. Because I was like, like what? So it's from Day of the Doctor. Uh -huh. but, uh, I wonder if I've got my name with the well, Doctor. Of course I've the, probably got um, my name with the Doctor review somewhere that's got my original reaction of, ah, oh, my God. The so, regeneration in Stellan Earth. Yes. That's yeah, that was a big chance, one, yeah. 
so much so that I didn't watch the next week's episode. So of course. That was yes. a very big one. Uh, but yeah, there's probably one of those. If you could change one thing about the current season, what would it be? Let's end with that one. Sure. Yeah, because uh, we all love change, yeah. uh, especially as Doctor Who fans. Maybe have a Doctor Light story, just so we can flesh out the companions even more. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think for me maybe more stories that aren't Earth based because a lot of it was Earth based. It was all Earth, Earth based. Apart wasn't from it? the finale. Apart from all from 50. Well, no, from 55 was Earth, Earth based. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. yeah. More alien planets, I think. More alien planets, a bit more, yeah. Then again, series one was all Earth based or around Earth. True. So, yeah. you know. I just think I feel that like they were making a bigger point there. And then it came to nothing. Like, it was going to be an overarching theme, and it wasn't. And it wasn't, but yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I guess you don't say that about like, other shows, like Call of Midwife or something. Oh, it's all set on Earth. Oh, no. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, but Call of Midwife fans aren't anal. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to pinpoint. It is hard. But, um, it's been very good. Hmm. So Enjoyed it. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a nice, positive way to end it. And we hope you've enjoyed this, too. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we've got something coming out about class, if you can bear that, um, so that'll be after this, I guess. Yeah. We've not recorded it yet. No. But, we're going yeah, to. We're, we're going to do it. We're going to face off it. Hopefully. We're going to do it. Um, otherwise, yeah, thanks a lot for your questions. Um, sorry if we couldn't answer them all, but we tried. We will definitely do another one. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, keep them, keep them. Yeah. Coming. Stay tuned and uh, but for now, goodbye. Bye bye!